Oh my god. Just before I go and slap a few more nodes right now, a massive thanks again to the biggest game on the internet right now for sponsoring the channel once more, Raid Shadow Legends. It really is legend, wait for it, Derry. They will speak about this game in Legends to Come. This free to play dark fantasy RPG combines everything you love into one awesome game. Great storytelling, PvE battles and amazing character design and what's best is it is free to play with a link right at the top of the description right now. My favourite pass time at the minute is earning and opening shards. Check out some of these sick characters I have unlocked this week. What's great is, even if who you get isn't that great or attractive, you can either train them up to tank levels or sacrifice them to make your existing champions even better. And this is what exactly I've been doing this week and then just wiping the floor with all my competition. Also, the highly anticipated Battle Pass is now live. Season 1 is out and you can win awesome rewards including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets and new epic and legendary champions just by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. So what are you guys waiting for right now? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you are a new player, you will get 100,000 silver, 2 clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards, and a free awesome champion, the Executioner. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only, so act fast and get started. Enjoy yourselves guys, and a massive thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring us once more. Right, let's go get back into the action and four, just like this game, it is legendary. I'm getting raided. Literally as we speak, getting raided. <laughs> Fellas, let's talk about this. Oh, I'm panicking so hard. Just chill your beans. Elliot, right now, we are fine. This is fine. Get some, get some, get some stuff, get some stuff. In fairness, online in a cave base like this was, was always going to be tricky for them. Wow. I, I absolutely getting that uh, grenade launcher out of that raid we did yes last time's episode that came in clutch that was that was life for us I said it once I said it a million times I'd love for there to be a few extra like skinnable items like the flamethrower and stuff in this game but sort of brought out that good gear just gonna try and raid this guy right next to this clan base so I'm not exactly expecting big things All calm down now, those boys have left us alone. What a crazy start to the fucking episode as well though, right? There's a lot of sulfur around this area too, actually. It's been a very, very long time since I've been online raided, especially to that degree, so... Coming in clutch. Oh, don't have a shotgun drone. Okay, this does not sound promising. Grab the sulfur nodes on the way home, I guess. 
TCs are very resistant to fire, which is not what you'd expect, really. Swinging a pretty big miss, but we'll take it for a little bit of low grade. Doggo. I can say for a little bit of low grade, that's nothing too bad to be honest. And nice easy swift raid. Okay. I really do need to go offline right now, but at the same time, I, I don't want those boys to come back, so I am just a little wary of that. We need to check out some of these new monuments too. Like, look at that. We need to check that out properly. We've lived around this area a few times now, and we need to work out how to do it. Key cards and all, but that's not really top of my priority list now. Scrap and stuff like that's not too major. We'll keep an eye out though. We'll keep an eye out. Okay. That wood door designed to look like an armored door. That's sick. Skin me, puppy. I really don't want that guy to have a double barrel. I'm not pushing that. No, that ain't it, chief. Sorry, brother. I get you up. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's alright. It's what we're here for, isn't it? Don't even worry about it. Peace. I set up a shop, start selling some of the like crap that we have. I don't want to arm my neighbours, but at the same time, I, I, I do need to get my hands on some extra sulfur. I don't know if I can build on this bridge, but I think I can. Little little troll shop, a little troll under the bridge. You know how it is. Close. Alright, I'm just thinking what we're going to try and get done real quick after that is a little bit of a raid. Maybe end the episode using all pretty much what we've got together, crafted anyway, in a couple of C4. Just to try and raid this little base over here. Now this is a rock arch base that I clocked earlier on. This is a whole new day, by the way, from the beginning of the episode. So we didn't get raided, which was a joy. Uh, restock the TC, all that stuff, whatever. Um, this was a base that was huge the other day. But it has decayed quite rapidly and is still on the decay. Now I could probably get away with not using 2C4 here. But just pure and simply for speed and ease... I'm hoping that this is going to get me in. Look, look, it's just this one left, I think, at the end of the day. Everything else is either... Oh, this isn't decaying, though. Anyway, this should get me TC behind here, which would be fine in this square. Actually, actually, while I think about it, grab that down, and we'll hope that no one comes and uh, rumbles us. See, like, it's already on the decay. I'm sure two is overkill, but at the same time, let's do it. What? 
fuck? This is sick! Oh my god. Yes, gimme. Right now. I can't place it because of this stupid douche. Oh, there we go. This is sick! Oh, dudes, we're living here next wipe. Look how they've built this. This is so cool. So you come down here into this secret little area. I imagine if you build like a, a foundation here, you can't squeeze through. They've built this perfectly as well. Oh my god, right. Oh, swing and a big fat miss. That's a cool door skin though. 807 scrap, we've got most of the blueprints, so it's kind of pointless. The high quality is probably what we want from that. The low grade is good. The wood, everything in there is tidy. This is a sick little base. Imagine hiding some small stashes in there. I don't think you can, but... Uh, pump some components, a little bit more of that. Plenty of pipes, actually, if we want pipes. That's not actually, like, horrendous. Gears are good, because we can never have too many gears. Um, everybody's got refineries on this damn server. Ooh, that's big. That's big. Should we call that in at base? Yeah, and there's a red key card again. Scrap that off, sack that off, have that, have that. That is not too bad at all. Not too shabby. I mean, we've had better raids, and for 2C4, you'd expect slightly better. But at the same time, I will take what we can get, and that is pretty good. We're going to have to make a couple of runs, take all this good, juicy loot. And we found another area for us to build in next wipe. Guys, what do we think? Here? Or in that cave from a couple of wipes ago? Let me know in the comments down below where you want me to build next wipe, because... Ooh, what's... Nothing up there, right? Oh, I tell you what. The, 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 like, the potential for this base could be insane. Like, look at this. Right, we built... I, I, yeah, let me know in the comments, but I think we should build here. This could be an insane little cave base. This area is both good and bad. Good, because you're right on the edge of the map. Bad, because that boy's right over there. And that causes us some grief. But what can you do? I need to get some electricity sorted and get some turrets up. I might actually look at doing that. I might go and watch some YouTube videos and try and work out how to do that after we grab this drop. Really? Really? Now this is pretty complicated stuff. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's so easy once you get to know it. That's fine. This is the first time I've ever dabbled in anything like this. So does that need to come out of... If I go down here now, do I need to... Boom! Hey, boom, baby! So we've loaded that up with a python. I'll top the ammo and stuff up in a minute when I go and get some more, but for the purposes of this exercise, just want to show you guys what to do. So whack that back into the old power out button. Down here. Cling the wall into here. Power in. Boom. And that's got a python in it. That is sick. This one's got a semi-rifle in. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this all the way around, but... I tell you what, I'm quite a fan. I am quite a fan of this electricity malarkey. So if I do... Boom. So that should turn that one on over there. Sick! Pretty damn hot. I mean, somebody could probably come up here and pop, 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 pop. It's showtime. Knock that out. If they were being like super, super good, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I don't really know how this shit works. Right, dudes, I'm gonna go farm some sulfur and uh, get some goodies going. Might go and build a shop. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. So, guys, thank you so freaking much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like for the base save, for the raids, for the PvP, for the goodies. Thank you so much for joining in and sticking with me. The little wire poking through there. I love it. But I'll see you all soon. I've been Seals and you guys have been incredible as always. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I'll see you soon. Peace. Out.